We're at Thunder Ranch and we'd like to welcome you to Spicy Friday, baby. Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. It is Spicy Friday. How about that intro? Yep, that was Clint Smith being Clint Smith. How fun is that? Now, I'm in the inner sanctum. I'm in Clint Smith's gun room here at Thunder Ranch. Had a great day. I'm tired. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. I know the lighting isn't exactly perfect. Y'all aren't going to get to see my face exactly how y'all enjoy seeing it. We've got heavy metal music going on over there. We've got dogs over there. It is wild, but I did want to go through Spicy Friday. I pulled these memes last night at the hotel. We're going to go through it. I'm going to tell you my favorite. You tell me your favorite. As always, tell me right down below what your favorite is. And today's video is brought to you by all of you patriots. Hey, crush that thumbs up. Appreciate that. And a comment down below is fantastic as well. A lot of y'all have asked and emailed over the last couple days and said, Hey, Johnny, what are you doing? I'm doing a counter sniper course right now with a 308. A bunch of y'all have asked what I brought. Well, the actual rifle that I brought lasted one day and I had to switch because it wasn't what I needed. We'll talk more about that maybe on Instagram, but it was not a good experience with the old Sigtred 716i. Welcome to Spicy Friday. Here we go. Up next, this is from Havoc Development. ATF, hey, the Honey Badger is now an SBR. Me, you're entitled to your own facts, your own opinion, but not your own facts. I blew it right there. Yeah, how about that debate? That was really a, kind of a crap show in some ways, but in other ways, man, Mike Pence, man, call him the hammer. Yeah, you're not entitled to uh, your own facts. Yeah, that's a good line. Next, Next Level Arm says this. I really like this one. I work for the ATF. Please be patient while I change my mind. Whew, I think the challenge there, they are unelected officials having influence or having decision-making power over us over what is legal or not legal. Yeah, unelected people, not a fan. And some of you already spotted that right there while I'm thinking about it. Yep, I had a scope kiss my skull today or yesterday and I bled and everybody had a great time. I'm still waiting on my purple heart from Thunder Ranch. I think we're doing the ceremony at midnight. Next, Ohio Sheepdog says this, what's in your wallet? The race card. <laughs> I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. Next. Stop it, y'all. Stop typing down below. You people. Up next, this is from Iraq Veteran 88, 88, 88, 88, 88. Yeah, there's no words to this one, but it's pretty good. Call it, friendo. Next. Hey, it wouldn't be Spicy Friday without a little bit of DC Drano. He says this, and all the girlies say Pence pretty fly for a white guy. You know, that's really good. There's, a, there's an idea out there that the left can't meme. And that's really true. Like the left, the left is they cannot meme. All of the major campaigns, they hire meme specialists, and they're so bad. Like they're really, really so bad. Yeah, our guy had a fly on his head, and what do we do? We laugh about it, and it's okay. Next. <laughs> This was almost my favorite one right here. Aggressive raccoon attacks multiple news crews outside of the White House. That's from the Daily Wire. Yep. Trump train giving him the Congressional Medal of Honor. Not bad to the old trash panda. How about that? Next, at really many AOC says this, the NBA finally achieved equality. They have the same ratings as the WNBA. Whew. That's some equality spice right there. Next, here we got another fly one. Millennial Republican says this, breaking news, Flygate. <laughs> Sniffing Joe Biden disguises himself as a fly in order to sniff Pence's hair. <laughs> I haven't edited this yet, obviously, but right down there, I guarantee I'm going to have a gif of Joe Biden sniffing. All together now. Yep. Next, True Hexodus says this, no one, presidential debate. Tommy boy, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. bring in the meat wagon. New guy's puking his guts out. Bah! <laughs> it's pretty good. Next, at Thomas Sowell says this, how can anyone read, how can anyone read history and still trust politicians? I fully agree with that. Newsflash, a couple nights ago, I called and I just mentioned that Trump is morbidly obese. I lost a boatload of followers that quick. 
People are so hard into his camp that they can't even be objective about it. And I wasn't attacking Trump. I was just saying it's part of the challenge of maybe treating and having a politician who is maybe that age and being with the number one co-killer, which is obesity, having a BMI over 31. And people got mad, like legit mad. They can't even, all politicians should be criticized. Thomas Sowell says you shouldn't even trust them, all of them. A little spicy here on Friday. Next, Carrie Wedler. Boy, she's got a great Instagram. Y'all check her out if you haven't already. Do I hope Trump, <laughs> speaking of, it's a great segue. Do I hope Trump loses the election? Yes. Do I hope Biden loses the election? Yes. Don't chase that one too far. I think it's all I'm talking about is maybe it's good to criticize all politicians. The old adage that is, if you want, anyone that wants to run for president probably isn't qualified. Not bad. At Iraq, uh, Iraq veteran 88, 88, 88, 88 also said this. He tweeted this. Hillary Clinton was talking about remembering Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I'm not chasing it. I'm going to keep going. He says this, he's, he, he tweeted back to about in her remembrance of RGB, if we are getting hung up on last witch, wishes, I'm sure Ambassador Stevens' last wish was to be rescued in Benghazi at Hillary Clinton. God bless Eric down in Georgia. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know if y'all are going to get upset at this one. Next, just hear me out, man. Next, now this one's my favorite. You tell me your favorite right down below. Tell me what it is. Next, for extra cash, consider robbing sex offenders. Their address is easy to find and they can't own guns. Modern problems require modern solutions. Hey, I've had a great time here and this is probably gonna be my last video here on the ranch. Had an absolute, hugely awesome time. We'll talk more about it next week. I know a lot of y'all wanna know what I have learned. What I have learned is that I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm tired. I have a bruise that is just unbelievable. Look at that. Those of y'all that are uh, the, the uh, I don't know what you call it, the armchair snipers, y'all tell me, why is that there? Yeah, that was nasty, that's nasty. I've bled, I've had a great time. Hey, I don't have anything. Here's a, here's a hammer off of Clint's bench. That's what we got today. And a bazooka right back there. Yep. To anyone that is against us, our freedoms, the Constitution, anything that is against us, and check that <laughs> Clint, tell us from your cold, dead hands. Nah. <laughs> okay, from my cold, dead hands, Clint is not participating. Y'all have a good weekend, y'all. Bye.